Stand still, Bob. I'm trying to get your good side. <sighs> My features were designed with perfect geometric symmetry. That being said, my left side does glint in the light in a rather striking manner. And be quiet. You're disturbing the creative ambience. I don't know why you're bothering to paint Bob when there's someone on this ship with the distinguished features and bearing that great art is made of. I don't do self-portraits, Professor. Lieutenant, Professor, get up here. So I'll just keep standing here like this, shall I? It's not as if I have anything better to do. Actually, I can't think of anything at the moment. What's up, sir? We're receiving a distress call. The signal's very weak. I've tried to boost it, but I'm not having any luck. Take over, Lieutenant. The signal's coming from a short-range transmitter. We're only just in range, but I think I can boost it. Scanning of the Kinosarian Medical Corps. I am stranded on Quetel Minor and have a patient in critical condition. I must return to Kinosar as quickly as possible to perform emergency surgery. If anyone is receiving this signal, please send help. Quetar Minor, Professor? According to my database, Quetar Minor is the Kinosarian designation for Ice Planet 4. Right, send the course, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I haven't heard of the Kinosarians. I don't know much about them either. Kinosar is located on the outskirts of the Rho system. They rarely venture far from their own homeworld, and they have very little contact with the rest of the galaxy. I'm detecting an energy signature and two live signs near the North Pole. I can't make radio contact. Something's causing massive interference. There's a severe electrical storm forming in the area, along with winds of up to 90 miles per hour. The teleport's completely out of the question. Can you bring us down through the storm, Sergeant? I can't promise you a smooth ride, sir, but I'll get us down. I'm flying blind here, Professor. Do you have a lock on their coordinates? Yes. Steer two degrees to port. We're directly above them, Sergeant. Take us down. It's a Falcon 1. We've lost sight of you. Let's go. Commander, the storm's getting worse. I suggest you hurry up. We're back, Professor. Get us out of here, Sergeant. Professor, this is Dr. Skerrin. Doctor? 
Tell me, Doctor, is it normal medical practice on your world to strap your patients down to their beds like that? Yes, well, Yosh is not exactly a normal patient. You see, kinosirens have a rather unusual ability. Allow me to demonstrate. Telekinesis? Yes. Thousands of years ago, our species possessed quite astounding telekinetic abilities, which nearly destroyed our world as our powers became used as weapons of war. But over the centuries, our powers have diminished greatly and are now virtually useless. These days, our powers amount to little more than a vaguely amusing party trick, at least most of the time. There's a mutation that occurs in the genes of fewer than 1 in 75 million of our people that causes telekinetic abilities to be heightened extremely. We call them kinopaths. And Yash is one of them? Yes. Sadly, the kinopath mutation causes extreme emotional instability, coupled with the terrible power they hold. Whole villages have been devastated and thousands killed during their episodes of rage. Naturally, doctors have been working for centuries to help these poor people, but still no cure has been found. Eventually, the decision was made that the only way to keep the public safe was to send all kinopaths to uninhabited planets where they could do no harm. So who's just been left alone on that planet for years? It's far from an ideal solution, but regrettably necessary. I came to Quetar Minor to study Yosha's condition. Unlike the rest of our world, I have not yet given up on hope of finding a cure. While conducting my research, I discovered Yosh has a brain tumor. I couldn't operate in that tin can, and I was only given a short-range transmitter, so I couldn't contact my home world. Fortunately, you were in range, so hopefully we'll reach Kinasar in time to operate. It must be awful to spend your life all alone on an alien world. Yes, it must. What the? My painting! It's Yosh! It's a neural sedative. It limits his telekinetic powers, but it's only temporary and there are only a few doses left. There's no telling what sort of havoc he will cause to your ship if it wears off completely. I recommend you get us to Kinesar as quickly as possible. What's our ETA at Kinesar, Sergeant? About five hours at this rate, I'm afraid, sir. We took damage to our starboard engine during the storm. We're only travelling at about three quarters light speed. Well, we don't have time to stop and fix it. I don't want to leave this Yash on our ship any longer than necessary. What's going on, Sergeant? We're veering off course, sir. I can't correct it. My console won't respond. What's our new heading? We're on course to the IOTA system. We're increasing speed. We've reached full light speed, sir. The engines can't take it. That's it. The starboard engine's gone. I reckon it'll take at least six hours to repair. Damn it! Well, we'd better get outside and start the repairs. Hopefully once we're done, the ship will point in the right direction. What the heck was that? There's something wrong with my electromagnetic scanner. It's emitting massive amounts of alpha radiation. I can't stop it. Is it dangerous? At the rate the radiation level is rising, we'll receive a fatal dose within minutes. Let's get out of here! How long will it take to decontaminate the control room, Professor? Fortunately, Bob's still in there, so he can help me from the inside. 
but it'll still take a few hours. What's going on with this ship? First we changed course for no reason, and now the control room's full of radiation. What's the bet it's our friend in the cargo bay? Commander Ryder to Dr. Skarin. Is your patient still sedated? I've put him under again, Commander. Why have we stopped? There are only a few doses of the new sedative left. One of our engines is damaged, and our control room is severely irradiated. Your patient's doing, I'm afraid. It'll take several hours before we can get underway again. Well, please hurry. Okay, everyone, let's get to work. Professor, you and Bob start decontaminating the control room. Lieutenant, the engine circuitry will need recalibrating. Sergeant, you and I will work on repairing the engine. There's no time to lose. How's the comm link, Lieutenant? I can hear you fine. You're good to go. Right. How is he? He's stable, but every second we delay, his condition worsens, and the danger to your crew increases. How long was he alone on that planet? Thirty-seven years. And there's really no other way to keep your people safe? Our planet's government claims that finding a cure is still a priority, but no real research into the condition has been conducted for decades. People like Yosh are labelled as dangerous, and as soon as a group is called dangerous, it becomes easy to cast them aside. Turn your back on them, and forget they exist. <gasps> Dr. Skarin! What happened, Doctor? Um... Uh, Yosh. When he begins to regain his telekinetic powers, he likes to take his anger out on me. Are you going to be alright? Yes, yes. He'll stay sedated for a while now. You go and help your shipmates. above normal. It shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to reach full decontamination. You know, I rather like alpha radiation. It has a pleasant warming effect on my circuits. There's something about this whole situation that confuses me. Yosh could use his telekinetic powers to break free from his restraints. Then Dr. Skerin wouldn't be able to sedate him again, and then he could take over the ship but instead he uses his powers to perform a seemingly random assortment of nuisances. There was something familiar about that pattern he was firing with the Ford Cannon, too. I wonder if he's trying to send us some kind of message. Well, if there's a message, you can leave it to me to figure out. I'm not saying you couldn't figure it out yourself. I mean, human brains can be quite logical in a quaint sort of way, but it takes the efficient, analytical brain of a robot to decipher these kinds of- Bob, hold that thought. I'll be right back. I don't think I'll bother. I'm currently holding 728 thoughts. Another one will just get confusing. system. Alpha radiation. Alpha radiation. 
destination. Morse code. A dot, a dash, and a dot. Professor, the repairs on the engine are nearly finished. We're just reconnecting the intake coils and we'll be ready to get underway again. Good. You know, Dr. Skerrin, I have quite an interest in alien medical practices and how they differ from our own. Tell me, what procedure will you use to treat Yosha's tumour once you get him back to Kinasar? What region of the brain is the tumour located in? What medication are you administering for the pain? Thirty-seven years. Thirty-seven years alone on that planet. They sent doctors. They all told me they were looking for a cure, that soon I'd be able to return home, but there will never be a cure. They feared me, so they banished me from my home, never to return. But now, I shall return to Kinasar and show my people that they were right to fear me. I shall bring every city, every village, and every home to the ground. I shall make all Kinasarians pay for each second of my exile. Lieutenant Solar. Lieutenant Solar. Lieutenant Solar. Professor? I finished decontaminating the control room. I figured it out by the way. He was spelling out liar. I'm a bit late, aren't I? He overpowered me soon after I arrived at the planet. I'd say Yosh had been planning his escape for quite some time. There's one thing I still don't understand. If you're not a kinopath, how did you use telekinesis to warn us about Yosh? The neural sedative only affects the area of the brain associated with telekinesis. It doesn't affect speech. Yosh had to maintain a continual telekinetic hold on me to stop me from talking and exposing him. I found that some sort of link formed between our two minds, 
and I was able to use it to magnify my own powers. Maintaining his hold on me weakened Yosh greatly, so when he was using his powers to incapacitate all of you, he could no longer maintain his connection with me. Once I was free from his control, I was able to use the last vestiges of the Link to free myself and overpower him. But your powers are back to normal now? Yes, my powers are just as weak and useless as ever. What will happen to Yosh now? We'll have to return him to Quatar Minor. We really are looking for a cure, not that Yosh would believe that. But until one can be found, he will always be a danger to all Kinosar. I'd like to thank you all. Uh, you may very well have helped save my world. We're in your debt as well, Dr. Skarin. If you hadn't regained your powers when you did, Yosh may have killed us all. Anyway, we'd better help you transfer Yosh over to your ship.